Unfortunately, 2021 will not be remembered as a positive year for human rights, democracy or international humanitarian law. And 2022 has already started in a quite turbulent way. So we are seeing a lot of attempts to reshape the core principles of human rights, democracy and multilateralism. And against this uh, background, the European Union has the obligation to show leadership and to act. To act, what does it mean in practice? Well, let me cite how our human rights defenders mechanism protect us, which uh, has already supported nearly 53,000 human rights defenders at risk and their families since it was launched. Last year, the European Union took again the lead in human rights fora to address the most pressing human rights situation in Belarus, in Myanmar, in Afghanistan, in Ethiopia, and then, don't forget, the global human rights sanction regime is a landmark achievement that this parliament was calling for. I don't want to forget, citing the European Union election observation mission, as an integral part of our commitment to defend democracy, democracy and promote our values. Let me mention the Gender Action Plan 3. It is one of our most ambitious political priorities to achieve gender equality and women's empowerment. Mm -hmm.